This is a video looking at the best action that led to pins in women's judo at the 2022 Baku Grand Slam. We're going to kick things off with a submission, you could call it. I'm classing this as Osai Komi. The wrist is trapped in an uncomfortable position. I think she could have freed her wrist, but the effort it would have taken wouldn't have been worth it for her and she wasn't getting out of that Osai Komi, so that's why she tapped. In this case we have a shoulder injury on the landing. If you play that back you can see La Puerta Comes in the white judo gi landed on her left shoulder and it made it difficult for her to defend this Sankaku turnover. So as soon as she ended up in Osai Komi, she submitted. Now this one is a genuine buzzer beater. So you can have a look at the clock. Coming into the last 10 seconds now. Are they going to go into golden score? Or is she going to be able to achieve the Osai Komi? So just as it looks like she's going to make it. The back is facing the mat. And referee calls Osai Komi just in time. And in judo... There's nowhere to go once the Osai Komi count is called. It's on you to get out of there. You can't be saved by the bell. And she smacks herself in the head a few times for not being able to buy herself a little bit more time. Next we'll have a look at a rib crushing turnover. This is a type of turnover used by people like Akimoto and Ai Shishime. And the grips apply a lot of pressure into the ribs. And eventually, as time is just about to run out, the Israeli submits due to no longer being able to or willing to withstand the pressure on the ribs. The most popular video on my channel of the last couple of weeks has been Nikolic's disqualification at the 2022 World Championships. She was disqualified for the way she was using Kata Sankaku out of Newaza. And in this tournament she was very careful with Kata Sankaku and was instead spending a lot of time going for Sankaku Gatame. She had a victory with Sankaku Gatame against the Turkish girl here. But uh, she got a little bit trigger shy when going for the actual Kata Sankaku, so she seems to have learned her lesson from the 2022 Worlds. Now in this instance, she attempts Sankaku Gatame, but Babu Doge, strong enough and well balanced enough to be able to build up a base and Nikolic is unceremoniously forced to the floor. I think the last time I did a Grand Slam pins video I included some of the action from Tony Olo's match. Certainly was an Italian girl in that video. So tomorrow I'm gonna have a video looking at arm locks. I think it'll be a fun one. So subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza. There's still a few more pins to come in this video. There's a couple of Sankaku Gatame and then I'm going to finish off with the biggest pin of the day. So the girls from the Netherlands tend to be fairly leggy and usually if you're a leggy judoka you're quite enamored with this Sankaku Gatame turnover.
Now here's Kuka, the 78 kilo category. She put in a very good performance. I think she was featured in my submissions video from this event, so you can check that one out if you want to see more action. That also includes some men's highlights as well as the women's. And here she was able to win with the Sankaku Gatame. And then after this we'll wrap the video up with the biggest pin from this tournament. Okay, Zavich, something of a giant killer. She's finding the giants to be fairly susceptible to her Seo Otoshi, and in this case, she was able to follow it up with a nice pin victory. Looked like at one point she was going to have to transition to the Juji Gatame, but instead came on top. I think avoiding Tateshiho Gatame was a good option for her. I think if she tried to keep Tateshiho Gatame, she would have found pretty difficult, probably would have got rolled, but she was able to hold her very nicely. 